previously on Splinter Cell. Black, help! What's up, girl? The data you glommed off the rig. There's no way the Georgians could have gotten this much intel without a man inside the CIA. You know what you need to do. We're helpless until we find Nikolads. You're heading for the CIA. Your mission just became critical. We just got word from our man inside. He says your F-2000's in place. You can retrieve it in the storage room behind the generator backup. Good evening. All right, Lambert. We're in. Good. Grim? I'm inside. Just there. The leak is a low-security PC registered to one Mitchell Doherty. Great. Doherty's PC is your new objective. Fisher, we're gonna need you to bag Doherty. What happened with Grim's daughter? We'll worry about that. You worry about Doherty. We'll wait for him to take a smoke break. It'll make grabbing him easier. Details on your offset. Junior Wilkes is in position for extraction. He's with Special Agent Baxter, an interrogations expert. They've got a disappearance truck parked in the back. Did Lambert tell you about Sarah? No. She's fine. The blackout spooked her, but she's completely all right. Ah. Don't get too emotional. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Wilkes. Appeared on the internet at 3 o'clock this morning. My declaration of war against the United States of America and its allies. Until every last foreign soldier has left Georgia, this war will continue on American soil and around the world, claiming the lives of the aggressors. The scales of power have been newly balanced, and we will no longer accept the tyranny of the United States. Blame the U.S. media for their part in spreading Combain Nikoladze's message. Ironic counterpoint to the situation at home, U.S. soldiers in Georgia and Azerbaijan have spent their fifth night without combat. Though tensions remain high, military intelligence has been unable to locate any remaining Georgian commando. Have dramatically increased their efforts to find Combain Nikoladze. U.S. intelligence is combing a constantly expanding search radius extending from Georgia. Each new country another possible secret alliance with the... Because what we have here is a situation where further airstrikes just won't do any good. Nikolat's army, if that's what you want to call it, is a bunch of... As morning relatives prepare funeral services, America's law enforcement and military forces prepare for the unknown, waiting for Combain Nikoladze's next move. Fisher, your mission is a man named Ivan. When Grim's daughter got made in Kalinitech's server, Nikoladze's mercenaries got spooked. They're pulling up stakes, wiping out all evidence of their presence, including Ivan and his comrades. Who's Ivan? One of Nikoladze's geeks, a programmer. They're killing their own men. It's all evidence. Let's pray you find him first. Details on your opsat. This is as close as we get. Are you sure you're cool with the details? This last minute stuff bugs me out. I'll figure it out. Well, be careful. I've already got a mother, Wilkes. What's going on, guys? It's Snot Rag, and we have more Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. What we're going to do here is uh, you're just going to follow the path exactly as I go to. As soon as you see that door open, you're going to roll, and then you're going to get up to these phones right here and wait just a second. And then we're going to go. Walk slow, otherwise they'll hear you. We have the Kalina Tech mission, Langley, Virginia. This is a very tough and very fun mission shoes. to do. So I do. This is terrible work. You're the down directly for the green. So what we're yes. gonna do here is we if have to distract these like guards. The There's a bottle right gone. here. If you sneak he up over here and just damage. grab the bottle, but leave this guy alone, you should be able to do it. Throw this bottle exactly where I do. Otherwise, you will have to restart. I recommend saving it the stairs, just in case you keep messing this up. We're just going to wait one moment, make sure we're clear. And we're good to go.
This is a very, very tough mission to do. Uh, of course, you know, doing it non-lethally as well is very, very difficult with all the scripted events that we have coming up as well. If you just follow along with the video, you should be able to do it no problem. West wing of Deep Water is clear. Moving on to six. How many encryption keys did you retrieve? This is our seven. Are you sure he's dead? Come on! You can see his brain. Of course he's dead. What about his encryption thing? The key? Yes, the encryption key. I've got it. It's destroyed. Let's move on. Again, I'm going to be doing this as if this is the first time playing through. I'm not looking online to see what the codes are. I'm doing everything or treating this as on-site procurement only. So there's a guard that's going to be coming through right here. He's going to go down that hallway. This guard we have to take out because he's got a satchel with the code that we need for the door. And we're just going to move his body just a little bit. And I take out the light here just for some good measure. And we're good. So now all we gotta do is go to the door, because if we go through the metal detectors, then we're detected and uh, it's gonna be a mess. So we got 97531 is the code. Some additional ammo here that you can pick up as well. And you can also play a little mini game here, a uh, little basketball hoop. He shoots. Evident why I don't play basketball. <laughs> so here, what we're going to do is we're going to need to move slow because there's broken glass in here. And if you're moving too fast, someone will hear it and they'll come looking for you and it'll be an alarm and stuff. So we don't want that to happen. Up ahead, we are going to have to take some more people out. Non-lethally, of course. Because uh, it was unclear if Lambert gave us the fifth freedom or not. So that's why I'm doing this non-lethally. When Lambert says you have the fifth freedom, then I will decide whether to do lethal or not lethal. East wing of port clear. Three encryption keys retrieved. And the art files destroyed. Every one of them. Uh. Of course. So now we have a new Last issue here where there are wall turrets. mines. This All we're going to do here is we're going to turn off the light so I use the and wait for me. these guys to You're stop talking. Over them. One of them you is going to come to the room where we're cool. at right now, yes. and then that's when we can take them out. Too many. It's dangerous. They're supposed to be dangerous. They're mines, for God's sake. You'll also see that I typically like to uh, I'm in here. use my Turn gadgets the sparingly. Uh, there's going to be one gadget in particular that we're going to be utilizing a lot, mostly because we can have the ability to pick it up. And put him to sleep. He's got a satchel on him as well, so we're going to turn off the light first. And then we are going to move his body a little bit more into a corner behind the fish tank. We're going to hide the bodies just for good measure. Like I said, because we don't want to take the op or take the chance, really, of uh, anybody uh, coming back through here later on after we do a checkpoint. It's like, hey, we found some bodies. So back there is the hallway that we just came from. Only way to go across would be the metal detectors, but we can't get through there without sounding the alarm. So that's why we had to go the other way. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little more shadows because there are two guards coming here that we're going to need to take care of. Now originally, I thought it was just these two guards, and you'll see here in just a minute that I start to panic. And uh, I'm leaving it in the video once again, so that way you can kind of see what I have to go through and the best course of action to uh, rectify said mistake that's about to happen here. So what I do is I turn off this light here. There's going to be another guard that comes this way. And he's going to try to turn on the light, and that's when we can take him out. That's a free knockout right there. So here he comes. He 
and he's gonna turn on the light and we're gonna turn off his lights now I heard that guy coming and I accidentally picked up the techies body which is not what I wanted to do I wanted to pick up the guards body because the guards coming and we're not in the shadows now so now I am panicking he's gaining ground here so what I do is I do an emergency drop to I equip my rifle so all you gotta do is hit the E button or whatever to equip your rifle or your pistol to drop him really quickly and take him out like that. Silky smooth. So yeah, that was a uh, oh shit moment that I was able to get away with. And again, all we're gonna do is just hide the bodies. So what else I would like to see in the Splinter Cell remake as I've been thinking about it is uh, definitely a, a little more um, acrobatics. Uh, they're not feeling as uh, tanky as they are in this one. So definitely revamp those as well. Um, I really do hope that they allow, uh, like in Pandora tomorrow, they allowed you to open doors while carrying bodies. I, I hope that would still be a thing that they uh, take care of. And then also uh, the effectiveness of tools. Um, like in this game, there is two sets of cameras. There's the regular sticky camera, and then there's the diversion camera, which will whistle and will set off gas and everything like that. I think it would be better off if they just made that camera into just the normal sticky camera like we did in uh, Chaos Theory. So all in one Swiss Army sticky camera is what I would like to see as well. Um, also, uh, in terms of being more effective with tools, I will explain that here. So to disable the wall mines, uh, you should just wait for the green light and then hit the button. So with airflow rounds, so it stuns them temporarily. It does not knock them out. Um, I remember in, I think it was Chaos Theory and Double Agent where the airfoil round would actually knock people out. Um, I would actually like to see that instead of it just being a stun. Maybe a uh, little control where you can adjust the amount of pressure with the gas uh, in the grenade launcher. Uh, depending on how fast the projectile is going, it'll either stun them or it will knock them out. That'd be something interesting that I would like to see. Also, the weapon handling. Uh, they definitely need to make the 5.7 pistol a lot more accurate. Maybe they'll bring the laser sight in uh, for the 5.7 pistol. That would be very, very awesome. We just sussed a little more out of Ivan. So here, There's all we're gonna do is we are just going to run. Floor. They're trapped behind a cluster of wall mines. You think they might have encryption keys? It's worth checking. Do exactly as I do here. Don't stop. Now, these guys are trapped behind wall mines, so just slow your roll here. We got plenty of time to do this. So again, we're gonna wait for the light to flash green and then hit the button. Now go. Now go. I wanted to stop myself a little bit just in case because the game pauses before you do an action so it might throw off the synchronization. So when the light's green, that's when you can go up and disable it. I need an encryption key. We don't have any. Why should I believe you? There is a bomb. What? The Spitznas planted it to destroy the data archives. But they put it right next to the gas pipes. It will take out this whole floor. How do I get there? You will need the keypad code for the door. I think it's 33575. Make Room sure check the building strength, but each story about gas pipes holds up. I'm on my way. Make it fast. You don't have a lot of time. Stun these guys and get moving. Who? Who is that? Slow your roll here a little bit because there are going to be more mines ahead. Just run past that one and you'll be fine. 33575 is the code. Slow your roll here because we have some more mines. be able to get through this no problem as long as you slow your roll or you can run past them I choose to just take my time up ahead there is a door that is going to be a very very long lockpick mini game so pace yourself here you'll get there faster if you run through this stuff but it's been a while since I played this mission so I just want to take my time with it 
Like here, I thought I could break the grass and just walk through, but no. So more routes is something I would like to see as well, in terms of uh, being able to get to objectives and everything like that. Um, I would also like to see the ability to uh, get around scripted events a lot better, more paths, more options to get by scripted events. I would love to see that. There we go. So all we're gonna do is just come over here. And the mob's right there, and we just gotta waltz right up and disable it. Silky smooth. Great work, Fisher. That could have been bad. But we've got a new twist for you. I hacked into the power grid. Somebody's thrown the breaker on the fire door circuit. Meaning you won't be able to open the doors until you found that breaker. Details on your upset. So here in, I guess it looks like the auditorium, um, these guys we are going to have to take out, and we're going to hide their bodies in the hallway that we just came from. <laughs> Uh, that's actually something else that I would like to see, like more abilities to uh, hide bodies. Like uh, I guess, like in Blacklist, they had like the little uh, laundry <laughs> baskets or trunks that you could throw them in. Uh, more hiding spots for bodies. Uh, you know, you got the darkness and everything. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you could also probably create more uh, hiding spots <laughs> with uh, shooting the lights and everything. But maybe take the step a little further and give it kind of like the hitman treatment, I guess, you know, hide them in lockers, uh, hide them in, in trunks, uh, have more accessibility when it comes to hiding bodies. So we're good to go, and we're just gonna make our way down the stairs here. Uh, we have some more notes and everything like that as well, uh, in case you guys want to pause and read it. And of course we got some more data, like I said, if you guys want to pause and just read these. And this should be the last one. Now, up ahead here is going to be very difficult as soon as we're going down here to throw the switch on. So if I were you, I would get a sticky shocker ready because there's going to be everybody down here we're going to have to knock out. I just spotted somebody in the auditorium. Maybe our intruder. I need to back up now. So all you're going to want to do is get over here to this corner right here and just hide. The guard should walk right past you, no problem. There's going to be another guard that remains there that we're going to have to take out. So as soon as they go up there, you're just going to come right over here to this corner and get a good shot on him with the sticky shocker. And that's it. Next up, we're just going to shoot out some lights, just so that way we can hide his body a little bit better. Right here should be a pretty good spot for him to uh, remain hidden. And there's going to be a couple of things here that we're just going to grab, some more ammo, and a uh, holy hand grenade as well. We're not going to use the holy hand grenade, but I just like to pick everything up. Here's the switch, you just throw it, and then we're going to make our way back up to the auditorium. Now, this next part is very difficult. I recommend getting your air full of rounds, because if you use your sticky cameras on these guys, it might work, it might not work. You could knock people out with the sticky cameras, but lately I've run into a glitch where it just does not knock them out even if I aim for the head. So that's why I just got fed up and I decided, okay, you know what, I'm going to use my airfoil rounds, run up, knock them out. Boom. That's it. There's going to be another guard up ahead where we're going to have to knock him out and take his satchel. Because he has the code that we need to get past the next door. Just hide the bodies right here in the middle of the corridor. They're in the dark. You should be fine. 
Save here just in case uh, you mess up with this guy up here. He can be a uh, pain in the butt as well. Come right over here and wait in the dark and we're gonna wait for a good opportunity for him to come to us and then we're gonna walk up and grab him. You'll see what I mean up ahead when it comes to the sticky cameras not knocking people out. So there is the satchel that we need. And we're gonna take his body and we're gonna hide it in the hallway where we originally came from, where the others are. A lot of people that we have to take out in this mission. Um, I've tried getting around them and everything to no avail. It, you know, this game came out so long ago and it's 2023, so I understand that there are certain sections where it, it requires you to take people out. Um, that's something else that I would like to see is more freedom choosing who you knock out and who you don't like. You gotta make it more plausible for people to get by without even touching anybody. Like, I would love to do a no knockout challenge. Now here, just do exactly what I do here. Take out your SC-20K and shoot these lights. And then you're gonna run up here. And there's a dark spot right here. Stay right here and equip your cameras. You'll see exactly what I mean in terms of these guys not getting knocked out. And I coughed there when I was recording that, so that's why it looked like I was having a little spaz. So these guys are gonna come your way. One of these guys is gonna stay and look up and look at the light, trying to figure out what the heck just happened. See, I hit him right in the head. It did knock him out. Now this other guy right here is coming towards us. So I aim high, nothing. It took two to bring him down. So luckily I can pick the cameras up. So that's another thing I would like to see is recoverable gadgets, uh, except for the sticky shockers. Now you see there, I was closer and was able to knock him out. So maybe if they did something where you can adjust the gas system on the grenade launcher, or have, I don't know, there's so many things that they could do. Like, uh, like I don't know, maybe airfoil around stun and airfoil around KO. Like, they have different variants, like, uh, to come out of the grenade launcher. And that's it, we're just gonna hide these two in the corner here. Now, down this hallway, there is gonna be another guard. And there's also a gentleman right here that we are going to rescue. So this guard here can also be a pain in the butt. We're going to wait for him to turn around. And then knock him out. Right. <laughs> So luckily I was able to get him stopped there with the first sticky camera that I missed. And because we knocked him out and I'm a gentleman, we're gonna take him right to the boo-boo center. I decided just in case to go back and pick these up. You'll need these for uh, in the future. If you guys are trying to do no damage or anything like that, but if Can you aren't, talk? you'll need them. I don't want to die here. Are you Ivan? Who? No. It hurts. Please, take me to the infirmary. Now, this isn't required, we don't have to do it, but, you know, for me, Sam Fisher, he would do the right thing even when no one is looking. All clear. But he does give us a little bit of intelligence, which we'll need. Thank you. Who are you? Do you have an encryption key? They took it. Destroyed it. They've gone mad. I don't know what- I need to find a man named Ivan. He's locked himself behind the building's fire doors. Then, he must be on the fifth floor. That helps. We've Thanks. So tired. For interrogation. <sighs> and await further That's also something that I would like uh, to, for it to return. 
in the uh, Splinter Cell remake is optional objectives. I think um, I found if you complete optional new. objectives, you should get a reward like better gadgets or something like that. Uh, you know, Bullet. maybe more cosmetics for Sam. Up here, you're just gonna sneak by this guy. Go slowly, exactly like I did there. Otherwise, he will hear you. All we're gonna do is take out the lights. That is something that I would actually like to see is like a, a little bit of cosmetics uh, for like uh, Sam, like editing guns, uh, editing gadgets, uh, camouflage for his op suit, you know, that kind of stuff. I would love to see that. So again, we uh, picked up another uh, data stick and we got some more notes as well. And this is something that you guys can read and I will pause that for you guys, or you can pause and read that. Good work, Next section up ahead is pretty Opening easy. Opening those fire doors cleared your path to Ivan, but it did the same thing for the Russians. You better make damn sure you get to him first. Update on your situation. To cover our asses politically, we clued in the FBI. We're gonna have to leave Ivan for them. So what am I doing here? Ivan's a technicality. All we need to trace Nikolads is his encryption key. Get that, and we're golden. We Stay right here on this wall, and we're going to wait for these two to go ahead and end their conversation. We might have missed something. We'll check it again. How could we have missed somebody? Listen, this order came down directly from Vyacheslav Grinko. If just one of these geeks gets out of here alive, he'll skin us all. Yeah, well... Well what? Nothing. Hold on a second. I need to visit the little boy's room. Make it fast. Make sure that you have your sticky camera equipped for what we're about to do up ahead. So just casually sneak by, follow this guy. Unfortunately, this is another guy where we're gonna have to take him out because he'll see you going into the vent. So just grab him and bring him on in here and sleepy night night. Once again, make sure that you have your sticky camera equipped because we're gonna hop into this vent and there's another guy that we have to take out. Who are you talking to? Who's on that phone? Please, Save there just don't in case you tell me uh, who screw up. Here. I don't want the damn phone. I want you to tell me who you... <laughs> and we got him. Pick up the sticky camera again. He's got a satchel on him. And we're going to talk to Mr. Are Ivan. You Ivan. I... Yes. You are American? You are police? Yes and no. The police are on their way. Until they get here, I'm the only friend you've got, and I'm not a very good one. We have to leave. We have to hurry. They'll find us soon. That's not my job. I'm here for your encryption key. That wasn't the deal. The deal still stands. The feds will get you out of here alive, but first you have to give me the key. That wasn't the deal I made with the woman on the phone. Listen, do I come to your job and tell you how to murder civilians? What? No. So don't come to my job and tell me how to do mine. Feds are on their way or here already. You're gonna be fine. You can give me the key or I can take it. That wasn't the deal. You're working from a very limited phrase book. Listen, just give me the key. I'm tired and I hate making people scream. It gets me down. Here. Thanks. And until the feds get here, find a better hiding place. God damn it. <laughs> I love Sam. Fisher, you're gonna like this. It makes me nervous when you say that. The Russians are all over the top floor. They're gonna have to do some cleaning before the Osprey can safely touch down for extraction. Now, he said cleaning. He didn't necessarily mean that we have permission to use the Fifth Freedom. So when you're here, what you're gonna do is do exactly as I do here. I recommend just standing up and do this. That way you can actually sprint. Do this as quickly as you can. So that way you can avoid people and you won't need to utilize your gadgets. If you don't do it quick enough, there's going to be an instance where if you're right here at this part and you jump down, you might accidentally have to take out a guard. But if you do it as quickly as I can, you'll be able to get through it. Now here, what we're going to do is, you were going to go right here. There are two guards that are going to be coming through here. They're going to split up and then we're going to go. Hey, what is that? I think I see something.
Now, next up here, what you're gonna need to do is you are gonna need to shoot out this light and take cover into the corner where I'm going right here. Save here, equip your sticky shockers, do exactly as I do. There are guards here. There's gonna be a guard up there. You're gonna need to take him out first because he'll throw a frag grenade. Take your time at this part. There goes the grenade. And there you go. We just got everybody. Now, I don't necessarily count that as a kill because we didn't pull the grenade ourselves and then throw it at him. The dude pulled the grenade and we stunned him. So he inadvertently, he killed himself. So <laughs> I actually think it's kind of funny. Yeah, there's the guy right there. He blew himself up with the grenade. Now this next part up ahead is going to be very, very tricky to do. Just do exactly as I do here and you should be fine. There's some more ammo and everything for you. So there's going to be a lot of guards down this hallway. I recommend I saving here. I smoke. I smoke. I smoke. Get all their attention just by doing exactly what I'm doing. So when you hear that, that means you got all their attention and they're going to come looking for you. That's going to be a good opportunity for us to go back down this way and follow where I'm going. There's going to be a room here on the left. So I went into this room on accident. Don't go this way because there's a mine and we also got to be careful of another guard coming. Very tricky to get all their attention like that. There's another mine here and there's also a guard right here in this doorway. So all we're going to do is just wait for him to move. Now, he's in the way, so he's another person that we are going to need to take out. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. There's going to be a set of stairs in this doorway here. Go up those stairs. Save right here, just in case you mess this part up. Now, once you reach the top of the stairs, there's a gangway here. Walk this gangway here, and then you're going to just jump right over. We're going to wait until the guard goes away. Go as far to the left as you can. Drop down and make sure you're crouched and you should be good to go. Move slow. Make it the barrels move and everything like that. It's like Gmod. Ugh. And you should be good to go. And the next part up here is scripted. So all we're going to do is just jump down here. And luckily, we still have the remaining sticky cameras that we need in order to take these guys out. Just follow exactly what I do here. Get as close as you can to the guard that's shooting right now. Knock him out, and then the other guy. And you're good to go. And that's it, guys. We just completed Kalina Tech on hard difficulty. Mission complete. And we're going to wait for that soundtrack to kick in. That was a very tough mission. Very tough. The encryption key retrieved from Ivan allows Grimm's daughter to trace a data stream back to a nuclear power plant on the Kola Peninsula of northern Russia. American intelligence first saw a lead on the whereabouts of Combay Nicolades. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay frosty.